Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading, but because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get in. Let's get straight into this, guys. So um, your pre-shuffle energy. Well, you have justice in reverse and the star in reverse with the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, everything the five of swords is upright because all the rest of the cards in the deck are upright. I don't I, I unless I do a free pull, which is what has generated the pre-shuffle energies here i don't read reversals however these two came flying out and they flew together and they flew out in reverse so there is some sort of situation that you are dealing with or you're finding yourself in right now or maybe this is something that you've been a part of for some time that um is quite unjust and it, it almost it kind of feels like you are lacking faith or you have lost some sort of faith whether that be in yourself whether that be in the universe a certain p person a group of people a career trajectory a job whatever it doesn't have to be anything specific but it does feel like here you have lost some sort of faith in yourself the situation the circumstances other people or the universe because of this situation however the universe is coming through in, in saying that even though you may have lost some faith, even though you may be dealing with some sort of unjust situation, ultimately try not to lose too much faith because things could still work out in your favor. I kind of feel like there also could be some sort of delay 
on justice here because of fighting, because of ego battles, because of one-upmanship, because of some sort of extreme competition. I'm getting, I'm picking up an energy for a select few of you that may actually be involved with some sort of legal battle. And we have like this extreme egocentric individual, or I feel like this could even be fighting or ego battles between lawyers or representatives, representation <laughs> that's kind of hindering this process. Um, Things really could still work out in your favor. I don't feel like all is lost yet, especially if you're in, in litigation right now. But for those of you that are not necessarily dealing with a legal situation, um, things could still work out in your favor. It, it's strange. What I'm getting with this star energy here is there, you don't see some sort of blessing in disguise here. And the physical circumstances may lead you to believe on a conscious level that this whole situation is just fucked from the beginning. But I do feel like there is some sort of silver lining here for you, Pisces. There is some sort of blessing in disguise that you just may not be aware of yet. And this star energy with justice in reverse, this could very well be the justice that you are seeking, the wish fulfillment that you are seeking could very much be coming out of this situation. Even though it's really nasty and toxic and maybe even narcissistic, very dark, very destructive, um, I'm, I'm feeling or I'm seeing an image of, you know, the fact that the lotus flower grows out of a marsh, grows out of some really gross water. You know what I mean? And I feel like that with all this death, destruction, decay type energy, dark energy that's surrounding the situation, it absolutely can give birth to something brand new and really quite beautiful. But you're going to have to deal with that, the, the, the process of, of that coming to fruition. And you're also going to have to work on keeping the faith a little bit. Okay? Understanding that the, the universe works in some pretty mysterious ways. All right, Pisces. Okay, so let's reset here and let's get into the rest of your reading for the month of December 2019. Now, f for some of you, I'm picking up that this has been a situation that has been going on maybe all throughout this year of 2019, maybe even longer than that. You know what I mean? I just saw 444 on the counter. <laughs> the angels are surrounding you. Okay, help is at your side. I do feel like some of you might be really waiting on some sort of justice, maybe even a return on an investment that would be that justice for you. And I get that many of you may not even really be attached to specific circumstances. You just want justice to be served. You just want what you are due. You just want, you know, you want your manifestations to come into fruition. For others of you, I am picking up that the justice and the star in reverse are there because the, there, there's a delay there because you're holding on too tightly to external circumstances and you're holding on too tightly to some sort of expectations which is creating that self-sabotaging energy with the five of swords okay let's look in deeper into your month and see what else we get hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all piscians sun moon rising and venus Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, I'm going to give this five shuffles. As I'm doing that, I want to explain to you what I'm seeing. Since I started actively and consciously channeling your energy for this reading i've been seeing purple and um what i'm hearing with that purple color is esoteric wisdom um but you may not be very clear on what's happening this whatever whatever wisdom or whatever 
the universe is putting forward right now has some sort of i want to the word i heard the word that i want to I, i'm being influenced to use is consequences but i don't that doesn't also that doesn't necessarily feel right because it i feel like some of you are going to say what well, consequences what what do you mean consequences but the, the basically what i'm what i'm picking up here is the universe is putting forth some sort of energy to help the situation along i don't know how else to put it but the thing about it is you just you qu don't quite know what that is you don't quite understand how that works it's beyond your conscious scope like you can't you just can't wrap your head around it but there are reasons to why certain things are happening right now. There are reasons to why certain things are flowing the way that they are right now. Again, I guess that's where those consequences come from. I don't really feel like, Pisces, you are on the receiving end of some sort of bad consequences. Maybe you are. I don't know. Take it, take it as it resonates. This is really hard to put into words. But then also I'm seeing blue for you, which is communication, maybe even understanding. <sighs> okay, I hope that made sense. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> two. For my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I think the biggest thing that's happening right now, Pisces, is that the universe has things under control and you just don't quite understand how this process is going to work out in your favor. That's okay. That makes sense. Four. And five. Okay. Here we go, Pisces. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you. Oh, yes, Pisces. Look, the Nine of Cups. Satisfaction, happiness, contentment receiving this is another card of wish fulfillment okay this is good pisces this is really good to start off with underneath the nine of cups you have the page of cups Ooh. under that you have the seven of cups and then finally the ace of wands okay um so i i feel like you've been in this energy lately pisces of really analyzing your emotions analyzing what it is you really want out of life thinking about what's going to make you happy what's going to bring you satisfaction what's going to bring you contentment um and you may have known what this is for some time to be quite honest but again you're waiting for some sort of return on an investment or some sort of justice to be served with justice and um oh shoot what was the other one oh shoot whatever the pre-shuffle i don't remember what the pre-shuffle energies were now anyway um it doesn't matter it's fine but I, I do feel you're inspired here with this ace of wands energy i do feel like you're moving in the right direction i do feel like you know you have an idea of what it is you want but again you're just waiting on that return on the investment that's what i keep hearing here and there could be some confusion that's coming up because there are there are so many different ways that this that whatever it is you're desiring can be delivered to you all you really need to continue to focus on pisces is the energetic vibration what it is you truly desire to experience or to manifest and then to just to allow uh, to, to sit in your knowing that if once you, if you were to stay in alignment with whatever this is it will come to you you just have to release any sort of expectation of how when who or why it's coming forward or whom it's coming from does that make sense okay i do feel like after some a, a good amount of time you a, a good amount of searching of soul searching of deep excavating is what i'm hearing you are coming to you have come to the realization of what it is you truly desire out of life or having a better idea of what it is you truly desire, what it is you want to experience in life. 
I cannot for the life of me remember what came out in your pre-shuffle. Justice in reverse and something else. And I know y'all are probably watching this video screaming at my at the video. It's this, it's this, but I just don't remember. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just funny how quickly I've forgotten. <laughs> okay. Moving forward, Pisces, getting into the first half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Um, or you could look at it as first half, second half of your reading. Whatever resonates mostly for you, you go with that. Yes, first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So first of all, I do feel like you've really been working on something for quite a long period of time. Okay. Um, but also what I'm getting with this Ten of Pentacles is an end of a karmic cycle. And you know what? To be quite honest, the, the, the justice could be delayed because of the fact that it, this was a major, major cycle that, is, that, you're, that you've come to the end of, something that you may have been dealing with for a very, very long time. And so there are quite a bit of residual energies that need to be cleared out, okay, in order for you to step into the next cycle. The star, that's it. Justice with the star. Okay. <laughs> there it is. All right. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with ooh, the Queen of Swords. Wow. Um, I feel like I I I feel like someone here is really is really putting an end to a cycle. I really do feel like this is very much an enough is enough energy. Enough is enough. There is no discussion. I don't need to see anything else. I don't need to we don't need to debate about this. This is done. I'm moving on to the next cycle, please. Thank you very much. This also could be an energy of you needing to really come to terms with some things and put an end to this yourself. There could be certain things in your life or in your experience, Pisces, that is holding you back from moving on to this next cycle, and you need to be the deciding factor and just put it to rest not and, and okay so that compassionate flowy energy that pisces embodies is kind of at your detriment here that the compassionate the unconditionally loving energy you have got to stop something in its tracks and stop it now if you wish to move forward okay it's almost as if the universe, oh, okay, so that's what the universe could have been, could have meant by, or spirit meant by saying consequences. There are certain things, there are certain laws that, and, and principles that are in place right now that are keeping you kind of maybe stuck in a cycle that you've been wanting to complete for a very long time, but you haven't been taking the action to stop it yourself. And you may have been giving too much of a benefit of the doubt to others. Yes, Pisces. Okay. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. Oh, shit. <laughs> the King of Swords now. Damn. But you see, the King of Swords is asking you to see very clearly, to see the situation exactly as it is. Not in the way someone, and, and this, would be, this would be the individual that would hear all sides of the argument. He's the, he's the diplomat, all right? He, he is the equal opportunity judge. He's the equal opportunity uh, defender. He's the equal opportunity decision maker, decider, right? Wow, what I just heard is, Pisces, you need to give yourself the benefit of the doubt and allow yourself to, to see whatever these circumstances are in front of you as they clearly and truly are. Do not, allow, do not allow anyone to gaslight you or manipulate the situation, twist the situation to make it seem other than what it truly is. Okay? Mm. Wow, King of Swords is coupled with Temperance. Ooh, ooh. So also what this is saying here, Pisces, is you are needing to balance this masculine and feminine energy where you may have been in this King of Swords energy um, for the longest time. But I do feel like it would be a King of Swords, like, say, in reverse um, because of the fact that you are you're giving too much deciding power away. You're not allowing your own intuition and your own feelings to 
help you decide you're relying solely on what other people are saying or what other people are doing or how they're trying to prove themselves but i feel like that's deceptive because ultimately well it's deceptive in the sense that you are not honoring yourself you're not giving yourself the benefit of the doubt and you need to you need to adopt you know this balance between the masculine and the feminine and bring in more of the feminine bring in more of the queen of swords and say enough is enough yeah yeah okay that's good your challenge in the first half of your reading here pisces seven of pentacles reaping what you've sown looking back on the past understanding what it is that you've been through and how it is you've gotten here there might you might have to take a good hard look at the contrast here i do feel like it's the contrast that is tripping you up a little bit i do feel this i get this sense of not having not been willing to really look at some of the underbelly of this situation but you need to look at it because there are some things that you need to learn from it okay yeah it's interesting i'm I, and i don't normally get this but i with the seven of pentacles here i really do feel like pisces there are some things that you have been refusing to face and you have got to and i believe i feel like what i'm picking up here is it's some of your own tendencies which would make sense as to why it's really hard for you to look at and you may have been resisting that okay seven of pentacles is coupled with wow the king of pentacles okay um mm. father figure i'm hearing someone who may actually be very controlling someone who may be very financially stable someone that you actually may have been relying on financially i'm hearing you felt like you couldn't do for yourself or maybe this individual whether it be a father figure or just a masculine energy um a patriarchal energy again or it could be a masculine energy it doesn't have to be a man it could be a woman that embodies more masculine energy but i i feel like this person for it maybe this is just for a select few of you but i am picking up an energy where this person may have manipulated you into neglected you while still manipulating you into feeling like you needed them which is a disservice to yourself because ultimately you don't really need anyone other than yourself and your connection to source but you don't need another physical human being again depending on your circumstances of course obviously like if you're disabled or something like like physically disabled or, or, or mentally disabled or something like that but what i'm getting here is that someone manipulated you someone was manipulative in make in in trying to control you from a material and physical point of view and you're needing to face this and stop it in its tracks put an end to it put an end to it ten of pentacles queen of swords this very much could be a father or a, a masculine energy someone that's very financially stable but is lacking in the emotional department and strives to control others through financial means because that's the really the only way that they feel or they've learned that they can have any sort of functional relationship with another person but it is not functioning well that is quite dysfunctional but this person would rather hide behind their money their material status their fame their fortune whatnot whatever rather than dive into the emotional side of things and pisces it's your turn to figure this out and step away from it okay you've got to put a stop to this that doesn't mean that you have to put a stop to them no you just have to put a stop to allowing these energies to control you period take your power back yes closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here pisces you have ooh, the queen of cups 
Emotional stability, unconditional love for yourself. But what I'm getting here, Pisces, is you taking a good hard look at your emotional reality right now and you doing what it is you need to do to love yourself more. Okay, whether you're, whether you're masculine or feminine, whether you're a man or a woman, it does not matter. The Queen of Cups in this instance is representing unconditional love, emotional awareness, emotional security, boundaries even. If you need to like, if you feel like you need to kind of isolate yourself, maybe from this individual or just from people in general for a while, do whatever you need to do to care for yourself. The Queen of Cups absolutely is the physical embodiment of self-care for sure. Okay. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Three of Pentacles, self-mastery, rebuilding your foundation, doing what is right for you. I mean, if there is any combination that would scream self-care, I would say it's the Queen of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. I do see the Three of Pentacles as a card of self-mastery, of working on yourself, going into business for yourself, entrepreneurship, whatnot, whatever. But coupled with the Queen of Cups and the, the vibe that I'm getting of self-care, self-mastery, um, emotional fortitude, emotional wherewithal, emotional stability, emotional awareness, this is absolutely taking steps to care for yourself and maintain your own foundation or maybe even rebuild your own foundation to begin with from a more unconditionally loving place of the self. Yes? Excellent. I like that, Pisces. I like that a lot. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. You have, okay, the Eight of Pentacles. So I do see this as a continuation of this. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the self-mastery. I do see here you doing the physical work that you need to do to lay your own foundation, to rebuild your life, to craft your life in the way that you see fit, not the way that people are controlling you towards, right? I am seeing this Eight of Pentacles as doing the work on yourself, for yourself, by yourself. Not really taking any sort of advice, not really taking in any sort of outside influence, completely doing this on your own. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you do find that you want to ask for help, I'm not saying that you're completely opposed to it, but right now I feel an energy of you being focused on yourself and you doing what is right for you in this moment, okay? That's, that's what I'm feeling with this. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Wands. My, my, someone is activated, someone is passionate, someone is striving forward, moving ahead. I definitely feel like this is an energy of um, you feeling inspired, Pisces, to really move in your own direction. It's almost as if you have a new lease on life. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. It feels very exciting, a very exuberant, very loving, caring, and compassionate as well. You may have, you may have recently gone through a certain activation. Um, you might really be embarking on some sort of lightworking mission, whatever that, however that resonates for you. Being of service to others, being a torchbearer, being a way shower. Mm. It's a very cool, Pisces. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here. You have... <laughs> the king of wands damn pisces Ooh. okay look at you all confident and shit <laughs> i mean that's definitely a major turnaround for sure king of wands is coupled with the three of wands all right being sure of yourself moving through with the energy or the inspiration that you have with this Ace of Wands underneath the deck, right? Waiting on a return on, see, but this is the energy of you waiting for a return on investment that I was picking up on with this Three of Wands here. But coupled with the King of Wands, I do feel like there's a clear knowing, a clear reassurance or a surety that you are holding on to to facilitate this, to facilitate the return on your investment for your ships to come in. No longer feeling lack of confidence here, okay? 
your challenge in the second half of your reading, Pisces. The Six of Swords, leaving the past behind you. That's for sure a challenge, especially in this circumstance here. Six of Swords is coupled with. Oh, well, there you go. There is justice. So justice is making a return here. But like, I, like I've been saying, actually, your justice is going to be served when you leave something behind, when you let go of external ex circumstances, when you let go of expectations, when you let go of time constraints. You've got to move forward. And one of the best ways to move forward is one of, I mean, the best way to move forward here is to release yourself from the karma. Ten, uh, Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could take some time, Pisces. Very interesting. I just did a personal reading for someone right before I started this collective reading for, for you, Pisces. And the Six of Swords was in her challenge section. And it actually was in this exact space, in the second half of the reading, the challenge section, first card in the challenge, Six of Swords. And then it was coupled with the Eight of Cups. And the energy that I was feeling in that moment was, her challenge was moving away and allowing herself to go through this time of shifting from rough waters to calmer waters and the um the analogy or the vision that i was getting was of people migrating from from like m migrating from another country traveling overseas to say come to america where there's more freedom there's more potential for opportunity for for people to live a better lives to have better lives for their families this that and the other but that journey was not easy okay by ship i mean it was a long trip especially way back in the day you know and all of that was coming from the six of swords and then i pulled the, the coupled what, what the six of swords was coupled with and it was the eight of cups so like yeah but here for you pisces it's a very similar energy you have to allow yourself the time to move from these rough waters to calmer waters. It's really, it's not going to be something that's just instant, snap a finger and it's done. No, no, you, you have a lot of karmic energy that you're needing to release, that you're really needing to let go of. And that's going to take some time and it's going to take some effort. Okay, but what I'm, what I'm hearing is Pisces, you need to allow yourself to do it and not fall back into old tendencies, Pisces, right? For service to someone else, would you be falling back into these old habits? Not for yourself. And someone may actually work to try and convince you that it is within your best interest to slip back into how things used to be, but they are incorrect. They are lying to you. They are manipulating you, Pisces. Stand your ground. Do not allow yourself to fall back into these old tendencies, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here. Okay, five of cups. All right. But what I'm getting with this, Pisces, is that all is not lost. You have those three cups that have spilled, but you still have these two. So what that's saying here is you might have lost some friends, you might have lost some family members, you might have lost some physical possessions. But quite frankly, Pisces, you ultimately didn't need them. If they're, out, if they're gone out of your life now, toxic energy, just let it go. You still have these two cups still standing here. All is not lost. And that very much is the connection that you have with yourself, with source, with creator, with God, however you want to describe it. Okay? Five of Cups is coupled with, okay, the Two of Swords. You need to allow yourself some time to grieve. And please, 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 Pisces, do not hide from this. You're going to have to face the emotions here, Pisces. You have to, okay? 
also what I'm getting with the Five of Cups, Two of Swords is that you may not be able to really make any clear decisions right now because you're you're too wrapped up in the emotions. You need to give yourself some time to work through those. Okay. Interesting. I'm just getting an energy of a refusal to face certain things. Still, you have got to do this, Pisces. You've got to face yourself, you've got to face your circumstances, and you have to face them with intentions of seeing them clearly as they truly are. Nothing more, nothing less. All right? Only then, when you're able to really look at the circumstances or the situations in, with intentions of seeing, seeing them as they truly are, that's when you'll really be able to effectively deal with it. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what your oracle guidance is for the month of December, yeah? From a Piscean's sun, moon, rising, and Venus, what oracle messages do you have for Pisces for the month of December, please, spirit? There it is. So you have card number 20, Shaska, star, of Venus. Chaska. Chaska, star of Venus, supports an inner shift to higher consciousness. Whether or not you consider yourself to be financially skillful, part of your sacred power and purpose includes the healing of economic and fi financial matters in your own life and the world. You are meant to experience abundance, creating and sharing prosperity from a place of inner spiritual security. A healing liberation from poverty consciousness allows the universe to work through you more easily without the obstruction of negative conditioning. In a reading, this card says, Financial healing is indicated. Let go of fear and trust unconditionally that the universe is supporting you. What brings you a sense of joy, purpose, and passionate devotion? Focus on that. Believe in your ability to thrive by being and expressing your authentic self. Notice how you relax into flow and more easily attract what you need when you acknowledge that the universe wants you to flourish through being you. Focus on putting your beautiful beliefs out into the world, not in consuming the negativity or fear of others. Give of your spirit abundantly. Nothing is beyond the reach of divine assistance. Trust in this, and you can fulfill your purpose of being a positive influence in the world. All right. There you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for ordering for thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Bye.